Well, I think that uh, mushrooms are the forbidden fruit. That they will drive you insane, which is why they're illegal. I ate some earlier and had an incredibly spiritual experience. I was standing on, we went on the roof and of this parking lot. And I'm a little nervous of just about talking about it out. I'm not, I'm not nervous. This is, this is important. I was up on the rooftop and we were talking and I, and I had my arms in the air and there's this wind, there's been this wind all day. And this wind, this heavy wind has like caused chaos around town and stuff like trees and things have fallen onto the freeway and fallen in streets. People earlier said things are just falling down all over. I said, there's a storm brewing. I said it twice and up on the, this wind knocked the power out where I was, where I work. And so I didn't have to work tonight. I was supposed to work and I'm not working now. I didn't work earlier. And so instead we went to this, to see this band play at the Roxy and it was so amazing. And before we went down, no, it was before, as we were leaving, I had my arms in the air and the wind was blowing and I looked at the sky and I said, I feel like a lightning rod right now. And Tamara just la started laughing and I was looking around and I said, no, the drugs are the problem. It is the, not the problem, the drugs is, will destroy us. It is a balance, no more. The drugs disassociate us, and that is why we die. That is why, anyway, no, I understood that the drugs will destroy you if you continue with them. And in that moment, I said, I will recreate it. I said, I said, I feel like a lightning rod. And she said, she started laughing. And then I said, no, the drugs, I didn't say no, I said, the drugs cause an imbalance. But what we do is we take what we learned from that experience and use it in a sober state to change the world. And then I said, to change, this is so powerful, and I'm going to get it out. Give me a moment to, to reset this thought. This really happened earlier tonight. Oh, my God. Okay. This happened. It's, there's no coincidences in life. I, I had my arms in the air, and I said... I feel like a lightning rod, and she laughed, and I said, the drugs, I realized in that moment why I felt like a lightning rod, and I thought, no, the drugs will kill us. They turn us into Jim Morrison, and we die. We're listening to the doors on the ride over there, but we're evolved. We learn from that experience. If we do it, which I did, and I've learned to stop, take what I've learned, and with it, change society, become part of society, understand so I do not disassociate from society, but I said... I, I will change, I will take what I've learned and change society. And as I said that, the wind was blowing and a shooting star shot across the sky. As I said that in the moment, I will change society. A shooting star shot across the sky. And I... I, I, I almost missed it. I looked away as it, as it shot, and I thought, it's, it almost like it didn't happen, like I forgot that it happened, but I knew because I've been letting go of my fear, because I've been talking about like my past and all these things, like nothing's blocking th these subtle things that are happening around me. I've been more aware of these subtle things, and I noticed it, and then I said something about it, and realized the, the, what it was. Like, it's not a coincidence. Zara, it, it makes me think like Zarathustra on a mountain praying and shit like a, a shooting star and omen. I see, I see that it is, I created that. 
in the moment of the, 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 the wins that I manifested to knock the power out at my job so that they, they closed the restaurant. All of it, it's not a coincidence. It's a choice. It's like I'm, I'm building myself towards something and that's why I made a decision. I'm going to stop doing drugs 